Hi, this is Charting Man Dan of thechartguys.com, home of technical analysis education. Click the link for a free week trial, no credit card required, and gain access to our multiple live broadcasts daily, community chat room, educational videos, nightly watch lists, and more. Invest in your education and future and join the community today. Checking in on oil and another leg to the downside today, breaking key support. So we had a multiple bottom established at 46.45, 46.42. And as soon as that broke, we knew we had lower highs and lower lows here on the daily. And we're closing in on a potential bearish MACD cross. So because we had such a strong move to the upside, look at this bounce of $40 all the way up to 48 with no consolidation along the way. It's going to be pretty easy to drop back down through because we didn't consolidate and establish bases. The only base that was established was down here at 41.10, and then we just shot off like a rocket. So we're looking at moving average support, and the bulls really want these levels to hold, because if they don't, I'm looking down at 43.50, psychological resistance, where we rejected a few times and then consolidated. That's a key support, as is 44.50. We can see we bounced off of it twice in July. So those are two key levels I'm looking at. We do have all these moving average supports, between 45.42 and 46.05, so looking like we're going to test those levels. The weekly time frame, confirming the bearish reversal candlestick, and if we lose the middle Bollinger Band, 46.47, by the close on Friday, I will consider that a bearish break. But definitely still watching for the bulls to potentially show up after some brief consolidation, after such a strong move, because the psychology is here for a cup and handle pattern, but we would need to establish support. I would say if we lose the 10-week moving average of 45.59, that would throw the cup and handle out the window. So definitely keeping an eye on it. But like I said, I'm not going to be making a bullish entry anticipating a breakout to come out of nowhere. I'm going to let the bears do their thing. And let's look at the hourly chart. Very clear bearish break today. We saw the price grinding against this downtrend resistance line. Lower highs on the hourly. And as soon as the bulls were unable to break above that, the dump occurred and it was a very clear bearish break once we broke that higher low pattern of 46.42. All downside, the low of that dip is 46.23 and we're right about to test that again. Very little upside on this bounce. We are still right at oversold 30 RSI, but you can see there was very little upside established. The high on the bounce attempt was 46.70, so that's a key resistance going forward. And if we break 46.24, we're looking at 46. And then those moving averages I just highlighted. Bears are in control of oil in the short term. I appreciate you watching. We'll check back in tomorrow.